James Wan, the director behind Aquaman, the DCEU's highest grossing movie, and I think the highest grossing DC movie of all time, is going to produce a movie based on the trench, the carnivorous piranha-like denizens of the underwater world whom we saw introduced in live action for the first time in that Aquaman movie. And they're going to get their own spinoff movie um, sometime next year or the year after produced by him. And according to a recent interview he had with comicbook.com, he said the movie's definitely going to, you know, be a strong horror movie or have strong elements, which a lot of us expected. Here's his quote. We, you know, we're still deep in sort of crafting the script, crafting the story right now, so I don't want to get into that too much. But definitely it's one that I really want to lean into the horror of it. So it's going to play more as a monster horror movie than it will as a superhero film. But it's still definitely part of the Aquaman world. This makes sense because, you know, horror is a big part of James Wan's background. That's how he got his start in Hollywood. He was directing, he directed Saw and then, you know, he migrated over to a Conjuring type movies. And I think he did a couple, maybe he might have done, I don't know his exact full history, but I think he might have done more horror stuff too, you know, somewhere in that window early in his career. And then he moved over to action movies, like one of the Fast and the Furious movies. And now, you know, he's doing DCEU action movies. But, you know, he's still keeping his toe in the horror water by producing The Trench. And he's also a producer on the current Swamp Thing TV show, which has a strong horror bent. Unfortunately, Swamp Thing is canceled now. You know, this first season, I guess, is going to be the only season of that show ever. But that's, that show is very, very graphic for a TV show. Um, and I like this. I know when The Trench movie was first announced, a lot of people were kind of like, you know, they were confused. They were like, that's what he's following up Aquaman with? And, you know, a spinoff movie about the trench that's a horror movie seemed an unconventional choice. It seemed like, you know, DC and Juan himself, since he's doing, you know, superhero movies, comic book movies, he'd make a movie about another superhero <laughs> rather than a horror movie based on monsters in one movie. But that's what he's doing. And I'm cool with this. I mean, as long as the movie is good, I don't care whether it's horror or not. I mean, of course, I prefer more superheroes on screen. But, you know, if he wants to make a monster movie in the DC world, that's fine. And I think this could mean more for Aquaman 2. Because I wouldn't be surprised if what happens in the Trench movie, since the Trench movie, I think, is going to come out before Aquaman 2, there'll probably be some story elements or things introduced in this movie that will be important to the plot of Aquaman 2, or maybe some kind of post credit scene. And again, I like the fact that this is going to be a horror movie. It's not because a lot of DC fans and people in general who like DC, you know, they like DC dark movies or they feel like DC should be the darker universe. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think that DC can be anything that it wants. I think it can do a dark movie or a light movie. If you read DC comics, you know, they're not all the same way. Historically, there's been very light and fluffy DC comics. There's been very dark and disturbing or just dark DC comics. And I would like it if Warner Brothers and AT&T they do all of it. You know, you have your dark DC and your light DC. It doesn't all need to be the same way. What I think differentiates DC and Warner Brothers from Marvel and Disney is they have more freedom and versatility. They can make a movie like Shazam, which is, you know, very kid-friendly, and they can move, make a movie like The Trench or make, you know, a horror show like Swamp Thing, right? Which are definitely not kid-friendly properties. So I, I welcome this. You know, I want them to do more dark movies or more serious movies, but also more light, fun movies too. I don't think DC needs to all be the same way. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see what, how this trench movie shapes up. If it'll be as dark as he is saying it is. And, you know, what other future DC movies would be like, what their tone will be. Black Adam. Are they going to make Black Adam as hardcore and, you know, brutal as he is in the comics? Or are they going to make him... Are they going to nerf him, for lack of a better word? That's a term I've seen people use. They've nerfed somebody <laughs> to basically make them, like, lighter and softer for movies. Are they going to do that to Black Adam? Or are they going to make him, you know, someone who's, like, ripping people in half and stuff? But anyways, I'm cool with the trench and bring on the horror. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel books. I appreciate your viewership, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.